Hello everyone, I've just got a quick video for you today of a purchase, uh, so a haul and review of some of the new Made in America, Fresh Picked, and Pumpkin Collection hand soaps from Bath & Body Works. Um, you see I've got seven soaps here, the figural candle, and a single pocket bag hanging out there on the end. Um, this was one transaction. Um, they were all in sale. It was six for twenty, which makes each soap right around three thirty three a piece. Um, so seven of them, it's still three thirty three a piece. Um, so that, along with a six dollar candle, because it was a with purchase candle, and then the dollar seventy five pocket back using a survey coupon, brought this entire transaction down to right around twenty two dollars, twenty three dollars with tax. Um, so really, pretty good deal. Um, not the best soap deal. Sometimes they do the seven for twenty. But I really like the new ones, and I uh, figured I would just grab them since I also wanted to get the uh, Fig Girl candle there. So um, I'll do a fairly in-depth review of soaps. You know, I, I don't often review the soaps. I purchase their soaps pretty much year-round. Um, but be this being, you know, fall scents, I'm a little more uh, into them and excited to do them since I'm really looking forward to fall and, you know, already starting to burn fall candles. So I figured I'd dive right in. This obviously isn't the entire collection. Um, this is a small um, sort of sampling of them. So I did smell most of the other ones though, so I can quickly tell you um, my opinion of what some of the other ones smelled like. So the five you see in the front are part of the Made in America collection. Uh, first up is Sonoma Vineyard Berries, uh, which is weird calling it berries and not grapes, but whatever. Um, Washington Apple Harvest, Aspen Autumn Day, Heartland Harvest Marmalade, and Montana Mountain Air. The ones that I did not purchase from, the, from this collection Actually, it's just one, I believe. I think there are three, four, five, six total in this collection, at least as of right now. Um, Georgia Bourbon Peach. I smelled that, but I just really wasn't impressed by it. Um, to me, it didn't smell super peachy. It didn't smell really like bourbon either. I kind of like when they do the alcohol scents, but it was just very, very basic, so I didn't, didn't really like that one. Um, I think there's also going to be a few other ones, like a Seattle latte or something, like three or four more that will come out eventually, but right now the core six seem to be in most stores. And then from the Fresh Picks, Picked collection, that one's pretty large. Um, there are, I think, seven. There were seven in my store. Um, so I can run you through very quickly, again, the ones I sniffed there before I get into the ones you see in front of you here. So that collection includes Heirloom Pear, which to me smells pretty much um, exactly like the Fresh Picked Pear from the spring. The Heirloom Cranberry, which it reminds me of something, maybe even a candle from a few years ago, um, or one of the maybe winter cranberry from last year, or one of the, it's not a brand new cranberry, I don't think, I think it's just renamed, and it's decent, I'll, I'll buy it, but it's not anything amazing. Scarlet Pumpkin looks nice, it's kind of a nice dark color, but um, to me it smelled, it was it's not a spicy pumpkin, but it was kind of almost florally kind of pumpkin, and it just, I didn't really like it compared to the other ones. Um, Farmstead Apple, really almost no different than their fresh picked apple from the spring. Um, Honey Crisp Apple was interesting. It's a lighter sort of golden color, so uh, Honey Crisp is a, a type of apple. It's not necessarily honey and apple. Um, it smelled okay. It, was, it wasn't as much pure apple as the other ones. It wasn't intense or bright, so I think a lot of people will probably like that because it's a softer apple. Um, Crimson Plum, which is a super bright purple color, and that one, I kind of liked it in the store, but I think when I was, if I were, were to buy it and use it, I wouldn't really like it because it's incredibly candy sweet. Um, and plums aren't really that sweet necessarily, uh, but I guess anytime they do plums, you know, when they, when they do their sugar sugar plum fairy or whatever kind of sugared plums they do in their holiday collection, it's also usually really sweet. So if you like the really, really sweet plum, you'll like that. And then finally, sweet clementine, clementine, which I'll review for you. And then right now, their, their pumpkin collection, um, which I guess is going along with their pumpkin candles, right now there are only four cents in it. I hope it does expand to a few other ones. Primarily, I'm looking for pumpkin carving or pumpkin patch. Um, right now, there's pumpkin caramel latte, pumpkin cupcake, creamy pumpkin, and of course, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, not the biggest fan of sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And hand soaps, it smells really, um, it, it drops some of the spice for me and, and almost turns like perfumey. Not necessarily floral, but just perfumey and cloying and just too much. Creamy pumpkin's nice. I usually get that in a soap. I like that in the moisturizing because it's creamy smelling, so it, it's nice to have it feel creamy. Um, that one and pumpkin cup. Pump, can't talk today, pumpkin cupcake, were actually very similar in candles. Um, I've, I haven't purchased either of them, uh, did I say, I don't know what, uh, they, they smell similar to what they smell like in candles, but they also smell similar to each other. Um, 
I like Kumi Pumpkin. I may get it. Um, I don't have either of those in candles. That's what I was saying. Right now, the pumpkin cupcake was pretty good smelling, I must admit, in the soaps. Um, but I just didn't I want uh, a, a super bakery scent right now for for the pumpkin soaps. And then, of course, the pumpkin caramel latte, which you do see here, I did grab, um, which is also fairly sweet. It's the, the caramel latte and the creamy pumpkin um, and even the pumpkin cupcake in soap form are closer to each other than in the candle form. Um, so they're kind of interchangeable. At least, you know, maybe two of those are quite similar. Um, it, we're not seeing any Halloween yet, which doesn't mean they won't do it, but I really like when they throw together four or five Halloween soaps. A lot of times they're just repackages with a funny, you know, cute label and cute name. Um, but usually we'll see either like, like a marshmallow or uh, maybe a, a different kind of pumpkin besides sweet cinnamon pumpkin in the hand soaps. So I'm hoping for more pumpkins, but this could be it. Again, this is part of the pumpkin preview, so maybe there will be more. Don't really know. Um, but that said, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, again, really perfumey floral. The cupcake was nice. Creamy Pumpkin, pretty much everyone knows, was standard Creamy Pumpkin. Uh, so let's get into the seven soaps you see before you. Um, so quickly, I'll just also mention, you see here, as I reach over, sorry, um, to get to $30, I threw on a, let's focus, an I Love Pumpkin. I haven't been buying a whole lot of pocket bags lately. I had enough of them for a while, and I use them fairly regularly, but I certainly don't need to get, you know, five or six a month. That That's too many for me. But this one, I might have to get a, a couple of them. Now, generally, I, I use a limited selection of pocket bags just because even if some of them smell good, they're a little too strong or too artificial in my hands and just stick around too long, especially like the summer collection with the Island Bamboo and, and Ocean Pearl and all that. They lean towards a little perfumey for me, and as a guy, I don't want it to be, you know, it's fine to use a body wash that may be a little floral or perfumey, like an Into the Woods or something, or an apricot vanilla, but um, because it goes away. But anything that comes off as cloying or perfumey or, or too intense in a, a hand sanitizer, I just am not into, you know, you know, out, you know, riding the train or something and, and it's this really strong scent. People just don't want to be offended by really intense smells like that. Um, but so this one, the I Love Pumpkin, they have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. There's a whole line of their, you know, the fall pumpkin pocket packs out right now. But this one... It really smells exactly like the pumpkin patch or pumpkin carving candle. So it's close to being like a true pumpkin. Like a, a little bit sweet, a little bit bakery, but not super spicy. No kind of perfumey, cloying floral. I haven't worn it yet. Obviously, it's a little early for that. Um, but I really like that one. I, if, it, if it doesn't have too intense of a power on my hands, I may buy some more of those. Um, I was really excited to see the s'mores one because... A few years ago, in the summertime, 2011, they had, like, a patriotic s'mores um, that was very similar to the zombie squad that they have in the uh, Halloween collection sometimes. And it says it's usually called s'mores or marshmallow, but it usually comes off as just purely marshmallow. And just a really sweet vanilla without being too strong. There's, like, no sort of floral or even fruit to it. Um, and I really loved it. I had a ton of those. I've been using them for a lot, often on the past year or two. Um, so I was excited to see s'mores, but when I smelled this one, it really is more of a true s'mores, which is good because it ma matches the name. you got the gram and some chocolate in there, but I'm not interested in wiping that all over my hands. So, passed on that. Um, the one other thing before we get into the soaps, no promises that this isn't going to be a long video. I try my best, but I talk a lot. Um, there's, there, they used to, when Slacken and Co. was there, they had lots of figurals. Spring, summer, winter, fall, they had, you know, filled candles and candle holders out the wazoo. Um, they've kind of gone away from that a little bit lately or kind of cheapened them, to be honest with you. Um, but they have at least this one back. Um, they usually would retail for like nine fifty or something, or, or even seven or eight dollars if they weren't a filled candle. Um, they're claiming this one is twelve fifty, but um, they have it as um, six dollars. You can purchase it with any other purchase. So really, no one's going to pay twelve fifty for this. It's probably going to stay at the six dollars until they sell out. Buy a pocket back for one seventy five, and you spent. Um, you know, seven seventy five for that in a pocket back versus twelve fifty. So it's this is kind of like you know, walking into Kohl's and it says fifty dollars, but they're selling it for thirty and they've never sold it for more than thirty. So kind of a little, little stupid marketing. But what are you gonna do? Um, they call it pumpkin carving party, sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle. Kind of strange. They call it the pumpkin carving party and they have a pumpkin carving candle and this is filled with sweet cinnamon pumpkin. <laughs> like whatever. What are you gonna do? You're invited to the best party ever. Um, sounds to me like they were going to maybe have. This is a free giveaway or a free purchase with, like, a fall event that may or may not happen. Hard to say, but, you know, 
they, they make the changes a lot of the time. And it's just a standard figural. Um, of course, they used to have like a Harry Slatkin signature on them with um, the year, and obviously with him not being there, they're just very basic now. Filled with, I believe, four ounces of wax, or maybe less than that. Let's see if it even says... Oh, no, two ounces of wax. So it's a small amount of wax. It's much less than you'd get in a, in a single wax. Single wax are four ounces. So it's actually just a little bit more than you'd get in, you know, the tiny little, the baby candles. Um, but it's, you know, it's a nice little fall decoration. I don't, I may or may not burn it. Um, I more got it just because I like to, you know, put it out when I, when I put out some fall uh, or autumn decorations. Uh, the only thing with this is it is a little cheaper, I feel like, than some of the ones they've made in the past because it's got like a little notch here and a little notch here for you to, it's supposed to keep the lid on, but it really doesn't ever match up super perfectly. Like it, you know, I don't know. It's when you pick it up, it's like you gotta hold on to it because it's gonna fall off because it's so shallow. But again, six dollars, it's not some fancy thing. It's just a cheap little decoration, so. But either way, I like it, so couldn't pass that up. And now, 10 minutes in, someone's gonna comment that I spent too long talking. Let's get to the soaps. So first up, uh, pumpkin caramel latte. Really nice little, you know, pumpkin in the foam there. And sniffing this, I, I've had sort of a change of heart. I used to not like pumpkin caramel latte candle, um, but this year, I'm, you know, if, as long as I burn it in the mornings, like on a Saturday morning, I kind of love it. It's really sweet, super milky, foamy, the tiniest hint of, of, you know, spiced pumpkin in there, but I really like it. Same thing with the soap. It matches almost exactly. It's, this is for me a very, I got it in the deep cleansing because I'll use it in the kitchen because it is quite bakery. Or just quite sweet, not bakery. It's about what you expect. Creamy, milky, you know, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of, almost a little bit of like a latte. Like, it really is like, you know, you don't really get so much coffee or espresso in there, but it does smell like a latte might. So it's the foamed milk. It's not just a sweet, you know, generic sort of milky scent. So I like it. That's the only one I bought from Pumpkin. Uh, the only one I bought from Fresh Picked Collection, I may buy one of the apples or something, um, but I grabbed Sweet Clementine. Now, I was a huge fan of the Fresh Picked Tangerine. Um, it was one of the best citrus fragrances they've ever had, and it, it, I think it's ridiculous that they didn't have that in the candle form, because it was such a great, pure, non-perfumey, non-cloying, just sweet, truly fresh picked um, fruit that I love the tangerine. And the Clementine is kind of right up there with it, quality-wise for me. It's lighter than that. Now, clementines are usually like a January, you know, fruit or something. So it's a, it makes sense this is a little later in the year, sort of fall collection um, soap. It smells a tiny bit candy-like, but it's not overly intense. It's not super strong. It's not, it is sweet, but it's, it really is sweet, like kind of biting into a real, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll hold it here so you can see it. Really biting into a real clementine. It's very, very sweet, um, but not, not a sticky, heavy sweet. There's a tiny bit of, like, the floralness of just simply, like, you know, the, the orange oil that comes out of the skin when you rip open an orange or a clementine. So I really actually love that one a lot. I was trying to decide between that and the Harvest Marmalade you see over there, um, but I obviously got both of them. So I like that one a lot. The rest of the Fresh Pick Collection, obviously, it's, it's very much marketing. Um, it's not that different than the Spring Fresh Pick Collection. I'm not sure what sort of, you know, fall bounty they could have done, but they really, I, I would like to see more, you know either just fall blends, um, or, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, you can't really do gourds, but they don't, you know, there's not a lot of fruit being harvested in the fall, but just something other than your fairly standard, like, plum, apple, pear, three versions of apples that they had in the spring. So, like, because it's basically the same collection with a different packaging. Most of the scents are kind of the same, so they should either just make it a core collection and leave it year-round, um, and not really market it as new for fall, because, you know, you could have bought a very similar apple two months ago, or a month ago at the same annual sale, and it's really not that different. Apple is to apple. Um, so I think it's kind of silly what they're doing with Fresh Pick, but leave it to me to be picky about everything. Next up is Sonoma Vineyard Berries. Again, not sure why it's gr not grapes, because the grapes on there and it smells like grapes. Um, now there was the Tuscan Vineyard um, in the Italian collection. I was thinking maybe this would be the same, but happy to report it's actually completely different. Um, that one was very much, usually when they do wine scents, they come off like really just grape candy. Um, they're not smelling like a wine. Even the Black Cherry Merlot, Black Cherry and grape and candy and sugar, it's not it truly doesn't truly smell like a wine. Um, but this one, I'm going to try to lift this up and sniff it so you can keep looking at the label since it's a nice pretty label. 
but I'm going to get little drops of this all over my floor. But it's worth it. Let's see here. This, it's, it also is very sweet, but it actually does smell like a very sweet wine. Now, I love, love wine. Um, really, all wines I'll do a little bit sweet, but um, I usually prefer red, a little more earthy, an old world kind of musty wine that, that is really not that sweet, but just really has a lot of depth and intensity to it. Um, but I can still appreciate a sweet wine. And this, to me, it really smells like a really sweet like white Moscato wine, um, you know, kind of lower percentage in alcohol, um, almost kind of grape juicy. A lot of a lot of people who don't like strong alcohol or even like wine will still like Moscato because it's kind of like drinking, you know, boozy grape juice basically, um, in in a true sense of the word. But it still smells fantastic, and it smells like that smells and tastes. So, I actually really like that. It's got a little bit of that Moscato. If you've ever had. Um, there are Japanese chewy candies that do Moscato as a flavor, and it really does, it's a different type of grape. Um, so this is really a grape scent, but it's not the standard candy grape that you're used to. It's more of a Moscato grape, which if you've had, again, like Japanese candies, um, you may be familiar with Moscato flavoring uh, for candies. Next up, whoa, figures, right? I always drop something. Well, we'll leave the pumpkin on the floor. Uh, okay. Washington Apple Harvest. I really like these packages, or the labeling. They're really nice. This, the leaf here kind of matches the leaf on the candles, and it's embossed. So really nice attention to detail. Um, Washington Apple Harvest. I figured another apple. We've had fresh picked apple. We've had farm scent apple. We've had, you know, they always do apple scents in the fall, which, you know, I love, so I'm not, not complaining. But I wasn't sure what to expect with this. Um... And when I sniff this, I wish I had other Apple ones to compare it to, but I didn't like them enough to buy, so this is what we've got. It's so nice. It's different. It's not like the intense... You know how some of the apples can almost come off as powdery or almost astringent just because it's they're striving so hard for that really like tart, fresh pick, just bite into the apple kind of scent? And this... Maybe it's a little softer than that, a little sweeter. It's almost like, I'd almost call it maybe more like an applesauce or like a, like a Macintosh apple, like a little bit mushy. Like, yeah, like if you had fresh apples and you were mashing them for a really rustic applesauce or for an apple pie filling or something that isn't your standard sliced apple pie, like slightly cooked down apples. Yeah, like not apple pie because there's no spice, there's no crust, it's not bakery. But it's more of a cooked apples scent, is I think what I would call it. And I just really like it. It's it's soft, but it's still clearly apple, without a lot else in there. And I just it's it's an it's a change. It's a unique apple from for them and from them. Um, I was hoping it would be like uh, two years ago. They had uh, a really nice collection of uh, fall uh, soaps, um, and one of them was I think it was autumn leaves. Didn't smell like autumn, didn't smell like leaves. It was its own thing, and it was just a really kind of earthy, dirty smelling, a little bit like a leaves candle, but more apple than anything else. And they also had like apple wreath and things. Might Maybe in the, that was more holiday season, um, which I really loved. This isn't that, but it's a little bit more along those lines than you know your standard bright, fresh picked apple. Um, next up, Aspen Autumn Day. Really, this one is just like... The epitome of fall, like it's got the, the most bright yellow golden, um, maybe birch trees, I'm not sure because it looks like white bark, um, you know, all the yellow leaves, the yellow container of the soap, it's just like so bright and intense, but so very fall, I think it's really, really nice, nicely done with the packaging there. Um, and this one I was expecting it to be like the Candle Autumn Day, formerly known as Acorn and Fig, which I really do enjoy, it's a little strange, but I like it, and sniffing it. It is. It's very close. It's essentially that. It's a little soap, obviously soap. You're a little maybe sweeter because it's in the soap form, but it is the autumn day. So you've got like a little bit of amber, a little bit of maybe golden oak, but you've got a lot of creamy fruits. You have like fig in there. You almost have a little hit of maybe cardamom. It's a, like a, a creamy dried fruits, like almost like a dried apricot or like a like a trail mix like if you had walnuts and sunflower seeds and dried apricots and dried dates and figs with some spiced cardamom um again with like sort of the the warm amber uh and a little bit of oak in there 
you've got Autumn Day, and it's just super unique. Uh, it's strong, but this one does not come off as cologne or perfumey, which I like. They have it maybe toned down a little bit from the candle, so that's really a great one. Um, I'm hoping it's not too, too strong on the hands, but um, I really like the one a lot. Then this one, not sure what to expect, uh, Heartland, so anywhere, Harvest Marmalade, Marmalade, I'm not sure what you call it. Um, so it looks like just oranges on there, but again, if a jam or marmalade is a little different than just like a fresh picked jam. So smell it and compare to other citrus scents or things like that. And I like that it's not like a, a blossomy, fresh citrus springy scent. Um, it's a little bit more like a, a thick, sweet, I'm getting soap everywhere, you guys. This, I think I, remind, I know what it reminds me of now. That's weird. I'll tell you in a second. Um, it's not a juicy citrus. It is very much, I guess, I guess it could be marmalade. Um, I don't need a lot of marmalade. I, I like it, but where it's like, you know, it's a little bit thick. It's like, you know, essentially like a jelly with big chunks, you know, a little, little bit less processed. I'm not sure what else is in there. It's not, it's, it's a citrus. It's a sweet citrus. I'd almost, I could almost feel a little bit of that blossom citrus in there, though, so it's not exactly a pure thing. But it actually, in a weird way, it reminds, I think it reminds me of, you know, I'm not crazy. Two, <laughs> maybe I am. Two years ago, uh, they had the Recipe Winners collection candles, so there was like sticky toffee, maple sticky toffee pudding. Um, there was frosted tangerine cake or something, and there was one other one. I cannot remember. Strawberry something? Pistachio? Was that it? I think so. There was a pistachio one that was nice. Anyway, um, and I think it was one of those things where, like, they had a couple of bakery scents, and they did the, the contest, and they picked out the ones that were sort of closest to what they could call us. Because we know they sort of say there's lots of notes in something that, you know, they're, they're doing for marketing. But they were nice candles. Um, and this one... I think it's the frosted tangerine cake that it reminds me of, actually, which is weird. It's not super frosting-y sweet, um, so don't pick this up thinking it's going to be, like, a cakey bakery, but there was some sort of creamy note in that frosted tangerine cake that was just a very light whipped cream, sort of. And that's kind of what this has to me. I could be completely nuts. You might not agree. And there was just either that or, gosh... Maybe some fruity, uh, I'm thinking back to either that or like a mix of, there's some holiday candle last year that I can't remember the name that just reminded me a little bit of that. Again, sometimes it's not exactly like the same type of fragrance or scent, but there can be base notes in there or the formulations that just remind you of something that doesn't make any sense, but still does. So that's that. Not that anyone cares. And finally, so I don't make it super long, Montana Mountain Air. Now, I like the image of this. I like... You know, this is kind of right up my alley. I love anything fresh, anything with, you know, woodsy with any balsam or something like that. And we don't know the exact notes in here. Um, but you can figure it would be a little bit like a forest trail candle or your balsam, um, mountain leaves, something along those lines. And you've got the blue, like a lake, nice trees, and just a really intense, um, pretty, you know, deep sort of aqua blue uh, bottle. And I like when the bottles, uh, the color of the bottle matches the pump. That's always a nice, nice touch. And... Now, I've never been to Montana, so I don't know what their mountains smell like. But this one... Oh, it's so good. Uh, not at all cologne -y. They should make this into a candle. I don't know what they're thinking. They've got all those weird cologne -y, And I don't say that, you know, I hate saying cologne But those, you know, the, the, the flannel, uh, cedarwood... Well, I like cedar trail, but the bergamot woods and the, the sage and cedar and the sandalwood citrus are all sort of cologne -y. But this is like, it, it is a little soapy, a little bit like a detergent, like a, a, you know, laundry detergent, but not intensely. I'm going to have to sniff the bottle because it's not super strong. It's kind of sweet, kind of fresh. There's a tiny hint of something a little bit astringent, maybe a little bit herbal, just the slightest herbal, like a sweet herbal. And every once in a while I sniff it, I get a little hint of a very, very light mint, which should make sense. So yeah, it's like a little bit, it's like a slightly sweet, kind of herbal, 
with that kind of air, like, you know, that sort of generic air scent. Not really like any candle they've had before that I can think of, but I really like it. It's fresh without being too fresh since it is an autumn candle. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed the review. Sorry for another long video. What can you do? You subscribe to me. That's kind of what you expect, I think, at this point. Um, so again, just the overview. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, again, this was Pumpkin Caramel Latte, Sweet Clementine, Sonoma Vineyard Berries, Washington Apple Harvest, Ap Aspen Autumn Day, Heartland Harvest Marmalade, Montana Mountain Air, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and the Isle of Pumpkin Pocket Back. Um, any questions about this or anything else, hit me up below. And until next time, take care.